What's up? This is Checked In With Your Girl, DJ Charisma, exclusively on Power 106, man. And today we got a queen in the building, an L.A. queen, one of yes, my man. personal good friends and a longtime hustler. We got Paloma Ford. What's up, girl? What's up? <laughs> man, she, you, you here chopping it up because you got a brand new EP project? Yes. And it is called X Tapes, correct? Yes, ma'am. Why don't you tell us a little bit of something about X Tapes? What's going on with it? Well, as you know, um, you know, I've been, you know, doing my thing for a minute and, and writing and recording and um, just kind of, you know, trying to figure out where I wanted to, like, really take music next right and um i had i had started writing uh some of these songs including space and you know i was in my feelings going through some <laughs> personal stuff those make the best <laughs> and then songs I got out my feelings and so i was like man f that i'm put you know pushing that aside started doing some more up-tempo records and you know long story short i kind of i i came back to to this to finish this and um you know i wanted to give people a story and 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 be very uh personal so that, that people could relate to it and yeah and now here we are definitely and it's short and sweet there's only seven songs correct yes seven songs on the project it's out it's on soundcloud right now and you got a a, a song that you had dropped earlier this year rain is actually yes. on there as well too yes. i really like that record y'all who produced that joint Thank right you. there um his name is Juwan. 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 He was um, kind of like a friend of a friend, and he just he sent it in. He sent a, a few R and B tracks, and um, that was the song that I, one of the last songs that I did. But I wrote by myself, and um, yeah, it just kind of gave that you know nostalgic feel. Yeah, and like she said, she's been been working and been doing this, and I just feel like. R&B artists as a whole have really had a hard time in the last eight, ten years. So I just yeah. feel like that wave is about to start to change, though. So, yeah. so Pal Paloma is putting so much work from modeling to being featured on Meek Mill records to you've seen her and heard her work with a lot of people and very, very consistent. And I feel like timing is everything, you know. And I, I mean, feel like everything. everything is. I really feel like for you, especially you've always been right there. Mm -hmm. So I feel like now it's time for everything to come full circle for you so the fact you're writing yeah. your own records you're more in control yeah. and also you've yeah. learned a lot about the industry and yes. you're a beautiful girl let's be real and Thank you. it's hard for women like you in this game like is that true or false like i've been you know there i've personally been with her in right. situations you know it's true. <laughs> so <laughs> how, how do you feel like now as a grown woman you know more and you're really ready to take this on yeah no i i um I definitely have a completely different um, confidence and approach to, you know, just everything, the business. Um, I, I am also, you know, real with myself in, in what my goals are, mm. you know what I mean? And, um, and when I say that, just meaning that, um, you know, not putting myself in, um, you know, you, you have a dream when you're, a young girl and you want right. to do this and you're like, Oh, I want to be famous. I want to do music. I want to do this and that. And then, you know, through learning and, and going through these different experiences, yep. you're like, okay, no, this is actually what I want to do. And th th these are the messages that I want to get across. And I don't, I, I, this is not so important to me anymore, but this stuff is. And, you know, for me, it was like, like you said, you, you've seen me grown and, and go through shit over the years. And, for me, it was like, okay, I want, I just want people to respect my artistry. I just mm, want people yes. to understand that, you know, music is first for me. And um, I am very hands on with every part of the process. And so that was what it was for me. Like, I just want to show my growth. I want people to understand, you know, my journey and respect it because, right. you know, we, we put so much on um, what, you know, what an artist should be or who, how how to um, assess whether they've made it or not. But Woo! to me, it's like, if you have a fan base and you have been able to 
you know, go through all these cycles and still have your head up and people exactly. are still checking in for you. Like you're doing your thing and, and exactly. don't compare it to other people's don't situation. Do it. Don't do yeah. it. You could feed your family in this music game now in so many different ways but i like that i like that now because yeah. the labels control this industry for so long and yeah. radio radio yeah. and labels have controlled this industry and yeah. I, I feel like now it's great because you guys really have direct access to fans can yes. nobody come in between that you exactly. can literally sell your merch your music directly from your instagram and all that it's yeah. like you have control now yeah. You know what I mean? So that's a beautiful yeah. thing to see. And I really definitely agree with that about you because you've done the modeling. You have modeled with some of the biggest brands out. Yeah. So I yeah. agree like 100 percent. This X tapes, it's all about Paloma Ar the Ford, the artist. Yeah. Focusing on your skills and getting your respect and you deserve it because yes. you've been out here yes. working. Yes. And you've had so you've had so many great records and that sometimes makes me sad cuz I feel like a lot of that gets slept on, but it's a good yeah. thing cuz all your new fans can always go back. She said she's exactly. dropped some great music, y'all. Like trust me. Yeah. What made you want to call this tape X Tapes? Why the name X Tapes? X Tapes um A because it was like, okay, I want to give them something R&B, something, you know, that feels good and feels, you know, like that, that's always been my core. So, you know, and, and it, they were, they were stories about exes, you know, there are stories okay. about what I, you know, <laughs> I get yeah, it. Okay. there are stories about, you know, um, things that I've gone through, you know, in the, in past relationships. And so that's kind of just like how that name came about. Hey, who is who is Paloma's uh, top five? Who's your top five like favorite artist? It could be R and B, it could be hip hop, male, female. Who are your top five that really inspired you? Really inspired me. Um, okay, you know I'm gonna throw Tupac out there because everybody knows Always. that about me. So she let's reps just hard. Get that out the way <laughs> first and foremost. Um, definitely Pac. Definitely Michael and Janet. Ooh, um, okay. Aaliyah. And Sade, those are those yes. are kind of like the top. And then I feel like like Snoop, um, you know, there so many people, but those are definitely like the top people, like the people that I go to every time. You know, I, like I'm trying to just get back into my, um, you know, vibe. I listen to a lot of Sade. Mm. Um, Aaliyah is kind of like the muse that I go to when I'm just trying to be inspired by, you know um what originally made me want to do music mm -hmm. and you know when i was most impressionable in my teenage years like she was the one she right. was the one and trust so. me you you do it well you bring that Thank smooth you. rough like prettiness all in one package like Aaliyah did and you definitely you. bring that essence to the game so that's Thank you. undeniable right Thank there you. so i know it's crazy because we're on quarantine and everything right now but yes. um it looks like everything is going into the virtual world. Like, can we expect some virtual shows from you? Because, you know, yeah. I've, I've seen you perform here and there, little things, but I always thought to yeah. myself, man, I can't wait to the day I could see a fully produced Paloma Ford show. So, yes. When, when are we, we going to get something like that? Because now you have we, the opportunity to do it. Yeah, no, we are, we are working on it. We're in talks with, you know, different people about, you know, putting it together. We had originally obviously um plan to do um a whole like release you know um show um so you know we're just kind of we're trying to obviously move with the times right. and and figure stuff out but that is like one of the top priorities so you will get that yeah 100%. i can't wait i cannot wait yes. for that yo yes all right, so the presidential election is right around the corner, man. And I personally, I don't want to vote for either one of them. But if Paloma Ford was president tomorrow, what's the first yes. thing Paloma Ford would do for the United States? Giving all my people their reparations first. Oh, period. There okay? we go. <laughs> I'm stimulating this economy. I'm giving back to all my people. And then we're going to make everybody feed the people on the streets yes. because we have way too much food for, for people to be homeless and, and foodless. Crazy. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do all the, you know, they're going to be like, what the hell is this lady doing? But, yeah. <laughs> I love, that's why we need a female president. Hey, exactly. let's hey. go. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, well, shout out to you, girl, man. Okay, one more question. Dream feature. I have, you've done features. People got checked. Check the credits. All right? Go Google Paloma for Check the credits. Check the credits. But anyways, <laughs> if you could have one dream collab, who would it be? Oh, dream collab. Dream collab. Dream collab. Um, I mean... She's still alive, so I'm just gonna put it out there. But Sade, like Woo! you know, I know. Yeah, I mean, I I have. That would be epic. I've been so blessed to work with you know people that are really, really inspire me, and I actually have quite a few features that I haven't even dropped yet. Ooh, okay. That will be dropping. All right. Yeah, just and just so you know, there's an X tapes part two coming out very soon, sooner than y'all think. There's a part two to this. I'm not just leaving. Everybody's sad. We got, you know, we got another <laughs> seven songs coming. <laughs> um, but I would have to say Sh Sade is just like, she's just the ultimate for me. Yeah. And I know that she, and, it, and I think that's the ultimate because she also doesn't really do features. No. So it's like. Uh, I can't recall a single. Yeah, she, I think she did some type of like remix one time. With, with Pharrell? Jay -Z and Pharrell, yeah. But. Wow, no, Drake that's facts. Tried, like, yeah, she's just very, you know, and, and I respect that so much about her, but that would definitely be my dream. Yeah, just even being able to get to meet Sade. I mean, we're both around the same age, so just even getting to meet her and speak to her would probably be yeah. life-changing. Life-changing for yeah. sure. So, man, yeah. we're excited. Paloma Ford, I need y'all to Thank tap you. in with my girl. Like, I yeah. don't just vouch for anybody. My girl is solid. X tapes is out now. She said part two's coming soon. And uh yes. once this quarantine's over, we'll get you in here in person and we can rock out. Yes, but please. I would like to make a request. I would like yes. to see Paloma Ford with one of these fire ass female rappers that are out here, okay? I wanna yes. collab. I wanna yes. collab real soon with you and another female rapper, okay? I would love, love, love that. Uh shout out to all the female rappers because like you said, R and B had kind of taken a little bit of a backseat, but it's that's coming. why I also but that's also why I wasn't tripping about forcing music out because I respected the hustle of all these young women, you know, coming out and doing their thing and really dominating. Like that's a big deal to me too. And big deal. um, you know, like everybody, it's just like you said, it's timing. So yeah. shout out to all the female rappers right now yes. because we love that. Yes. That Yo, yeah. I said it. I said it. I've been bitching and complaining about it for like the past eight years. I kept saying, for one, female artists are going to come back in r and B. I'm like, just yeah. watch people. Yeah. And so the female and, rap and, happens. And women, so we just need more, next. Like, like, we shouldn't have to wait for another walk. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, there should be several, you know, there should be more camaraderie. Yes. And like, Ladies night, you know, women used to just hop in each other's videos. Oh, and, and Mary J. Blige was the queen of cameos, y'all. I don't know if you know this. Queen of cameos. She was the and it queen. Didn't tarnish her brand. No. Nah. You know, she's just lifting other people up. And I, I, I hope that, you know, through all this, you know, that we can kind of get back to some of that. Yeah, I agree a thousand percent, man. Yeah. I agree. Well, I got your back, queen. Ladies Thank and you. gentlemen, Paloma Ford, tap in. X Appreciate tapes you. is out right now. Right and, now. Uh, Oh. We, we, we gonna be patiently waiting for that for that turned up girl fight music coming next yes <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all this is checked in with power 106 paloma ford we out Let's go